but like we mentioned in the previous year, but I'd like to take a little, little bit more depth into this point, that when one davens, one faces towards Eretz Yisrael. So as the Shulchan Aruch, if you're in Chutz La'oretz, Yaxi upon a Keneged Eretz Yisrael, facing Eretz Yisrael, Yechavein Gam Yerushalayim, in the Mikdosh, or the Beis Kodesh HaKadoshim. And the Shulchan, Mishnah Bua brings down, that there's a little bit more than that. Sheyach Shav Belibo Be'enu Ki Ilu Hu Oimeid Ba Mikdosh. What is this halacha? As if you're standing there in the Kodesh Kadoshim, the Holy of Holies, how can I possibly do that? I'm not an illusionist. I can't put myself somewhere where I'm not. What is the requirement here? That is, if I'm standing there, I'm not. I'm in a basement in Chicago. <laughs> I'm on the 89th floor in New York. I mean, how can I make this illusion as if I'm standing the Kodesh Kadoshim? What is the meaning of this? How can we simplify this halacha and explain what it means facing towards? We mentioned last time that it. It's an expression of you're facing the kruvim as you turn so Hashem turns toward you. So there we brought out and it's an expression of affection, of devotion, of love. Hashem turns to you as we turn to Him. But here we see a little, a different point here. Ki'ilu oimed, as if one is standing there. Why? What's behind it? How can we simplify this halacha and explain what it is that we need to do when we face Yerushalayim and Think as if, according to the Chofetz Chaim in the Mishnabur, ki ilu aimed, as if you're standing there. Perhaps we can take an explanation of this from Aisha's Lot. When she turned around, when they were fleeing from Stoim and Amoira, she turned into a pillar of salt. Rashi says, because she was a mean lady, and just as she refused and, and was not happy with giving salt to guests, so she turned into a pillar of salt. The Ramban gives a different answer. When the Pesach says, Al tabit achoyra, the Ramban explains a different reason. Don't turn around and stare, because when you stare and look at something, you become connected with that place. Especially when the heart is in that lingering. She turned around and was worried and concerned of her family who were still in Stoma and Amaira. Her, she looked and her heart was there. The weather that day in Stoma and Amaira was Gofris Vomelach, was sulfur and salt and destruction. She might have been a thousand miles away, but she lingered in her mind to be there. It was as if she was there. And therefore, we see that's the reason, according to the Ramban, why she turned into an Amud Melach, into a pillar of salt. Because she wanted to be where she was looking, her heart was there. We learn from that, therefore, that there is a connection to where your, your mind is. Perhaps you can explain it a different way. The Gemara in Eilchen brings down that when a person speaks Lashon Hora, three people are injured the one who says it, the one who hears it, and the one who is spoken about. The one who says it, the one who hears it, I can understand. But supposing I'm, I don't know, sitting by the banks of the Kinneret, and I talk about somebody who's in an apartment in Los Angeles, thousands of miles away, why do they get hurt? It says, one who you speak about, it's a perfect missile. It doesn't miss. It's bullseye. You hit him. How did I hit him? He's thousands of miles away, different time zone. The answer is that when you think and you linger and you concentrate, it's as if you're there. And that's why the person who is spoken about is also injured. You hurt him. Now, if that works on the concept of punishment as the wife of Lot, or in the aspect of damages like we see by Losh and Horror, then Koshiken, Alachas Kama, the Kama, it must work by a mitzvah. And maybe that's the reason why the Mishnah Bua says, Ki ilu because if you're standing there, your power of your prayer is phenomenal. It's, you're not in the 87th floor in a, in a skyscraper in New York or in a basement in Chicago. You're actually there. That's the power of thought. Ki ilu shama. And maybe that's the reason why the Halacha explains that you should think as if you're there. We mentioned the first time that's an aspect of devakus, of closeness, of devotion, and but there's more to it than that. 
that when you think and consider and, and contemplate the place of the Kodesh Kadoshim, it's as if you're there, without an illusion. According to the Ramban, it works by an Oynesh, certainly Midah Toivah is Meruba Mi Midah and that's the power of thought behind the words which are said. Next time, Mimit Hashem, we'll take these points of halacha further. Thank you very much. Kol Tov. Okay. I left you a thing. Did you put it in? Oh, no. Oh, I left you a thing. Oh, thank you. That's it. Want to drink now, first, before you go? No.